decided I no longer wanted to be a responsible parent and I gave up my kids. I was just tired of being responsible and caring for them. I wanted to go out there and experience life. It just didn't fit with my new lifestyle. What? The other parent is a very responsible parent. But now I'm here because now I'm in child support. <laughs> I couldn't claim them on my taxes because the other parent had already claimed them. Wow, you're a piece of shit. You are a piece of shit. <laughs> Most of these women use babies as financial instruments. The baby is something for you to use to extract money from another person. Where is the nurturing and the love and the, the concern for the child? You're shocked that you had to pay child support. I can't believe the low IQ f nonsense that this going on here. The f audacity. Nerd. Your body, your choice, right? Stupid. Why you ain't make the choice? Instead, you birthed a child just to abandon him because you want to go live your single girl life. If you's a hoe, just f***ing say that and stop playing with me. Seems like women are abandoning a lot of things these days. Right. Their responsibilities, their duties Kids, to their Kids, marriages, like everything. everything. I just found out my wife just left her corporate job for a cashier job. She's like, she wants to get out of the payments, what she's doing. Payments of what? Child support, ma'am. Is there a reason why you're not paying to support this child? I left my job and I did do it intentionally. Wait right? a minute, wait a minute. You intentionally left your job? Yes, ma'am, I did. How much did you make at your last job? Annually, 70000 Now I work at a convenience store. How much are you making now? 30000 a year. What's the qualification to work at that job? You just need a high school diploma. High school diploma? Yes, and have you have a master's degree. I'm not about to play with you. So, you're now making $30,000 a year and you think that I should base child support on $30,000 instead of the 70 that you intentionally stop working at? Well, that is my annual income now. <clears throat> Ma'am, I'm going to make you pay child support. $899.60 is going to be your monthly child support obligation that you're going to pay each month to this man. Wow. That's a, a decent chunk for what she's making after tax. Because you have to consider she's probably paying about 15% of that in tax. She will be forced to get another job. Sounds like he needs to tell the tale on you. Somebody need to. You are ridiculous right now. Sir, yes. she receives food stamps. So I'm assuming there is some Medicaid or something yes. these kids yes. are getting? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So what I'm going to do is do 9% of that 7000 for your reimbursement to Medicaid. That comes out to $496. So $1,376. $77 plus the $496 reimbursement to Medicaid that make your total monthly child support obligation $1,873. I don't even know men that pay that much money every month. So why I got to pay that every month? I don't know too many women that just take their kids and go drop them off at their parents' house and they have a whole man staying in the house with them. Mm -hmm. It's my dad. Y'all act like I dropped you know them what? off with it, anybody. These are your kids. Is there anything further, ma'am? No, I guess I need to go make some money in these streets for that. Okay, well, you know what? A single mother is allowed to spend her child support money on whatever she wants, and let me tell you why. I've been seeing a lot of controversy on what a woman can and cannot spend her child support money on. People are making TikToks about it, people are talking on their podcasts about it, saying that a single mother is not allowed to spend her child support money on her electricity, on her rent, or on her Wi-Fi. Let me just break it down for you on why a single mother is allowed to spend child support money on whatever she would like. So let's say a single mother goes to the store on the first of the month, and she buys her child all new clothes and all new shoes, and she spends three dollars on her child and now her child has everything they need but then on the 15th of the month she goes back to the store buy diapers and wipes for her child and spends two hundred dollars right that's five hundred dollars now let's say on the 21st of the month the father of her child sends her three hundred and fifty dollars she is allowed to take money from that child support and pay her electric she is allowed to pay her wi-fi she is allowed to use that money for her rent because that money is a reimbursement of what she already spent on the child and it's not even a complete reimbursement not to mention a lot of these men that are paying child support are only paying what the judge tells them to pay so they are not helping cover the cost of child care the single mom is paying for just so she could put her child in child care so that she can work to pay for that child care and best believe those men are not paying for food for the child weekly are not buying new clothes for the child are not buying new shoes for the child they're only sending a set amount that that woman has to deal with so if a single mother is paying for everything for her child throughout the month and the father of her child has to pay ten dollars in child support a hundred dollars in child support or a thousand dollars in child support every amount is different and she decides to spend that money on her electric on her rent that is fine because she has already provided for her child 
based on her income that brings her child support obligation to $2,300 per month, mm. reimbursing you for the health insurance that you carry for the children every month mm. is $255, mm. bringing your monthly child support to $2,550. Okay. No, excuse me. Wait a minute. I don't get don't like ugly. Monthly. Oh, I, it's according to how my houses are flipped. So if I go a month without flipping a house, what? Why did you do this? You no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why did you Excuse do this? Me. Oh, now we get the why you do this. You said, you, you said, you said your honor. I make about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Did you say that? I did. I did. I did. I did. I did say that. I did. You did. You did. You did say that. So that's what I based it on. Shut up. Shut up. Therefore, that's what your child support amount is going to be, $2,550. So I hope you can flip enough houses <laughs> to make that flip some more for these children. Do you see the, the, right. the attitude that was in right. it? She was so hurt when she said $2,500. I was hurt. I ain't going to lie. $2,500. <laughs> I needs that. What? Little, little Daryl needs a uh, private school. With the Prada shoes on, yeah. Twenty five hundred shoes. My wife needs clothes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you got a Balenciaga bag, don't you? Like he need Balenciaga clothes as well, and I can't afford that. But you can. Damn. Mm. And the lifestyles need to be similar, cause mm. that's what the child was about. It's about the child, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they say. So all twenty five hundred of that is going to the that's child. Going to the right? child. Yeah. That's going to the services of the child. The child Providing a roof over their head. <clears throat> roof over their head. Food. Medicine is expensive. You know that's what they say. Doctors visit. And every time she make more Day money, care. I'm back in the courthouse. <laughs> so elevate, baby. <laughs> <laughs> flip the, flip on. Flip judge, on, baby. Judge, she made two hundred and ten thousand this year. I think we got to jump that. I need 31 now. Fam. 31 now. And I, and I got a new wife. <laughs> and I still need 31 honey <laughs> to sustain our lifestyle. And then when I, and I went to prison for five years, when I got out of prison in 2003, I paid child support from that day until just February of last year when I lost Only my job. Only because they garnished your wages. Absolutely. That's what they do. And I actually asked my public defender, where's the proof? I've yet to see proof that the child's mine. Mr. Manser, you are not oh, God. his not father. Oh, man. Five years in prison. I, Dylan, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, this is why. This is why I did what I did. But this is and nothing. I, I made up. The lab did you it. You made it all up. No, I did not. Well, those results are pretty I don't know any up. of those people on that form. Oh, my God. This is clearly the most shocking Very much. news we've ever gotten in this courtroom. Oh, my God. She should be convicted of some crime. No, I should not. I did not fraud. Sir. Mr. Man Ms. Sear, do you know? Yes, ma'am. You know who his father is? Yes, I talk to him still. You cannot stand there and really suggest that you cannot comprehend why this man would not have any type of ill feeling, frustration, or regret as it relates to anything involving you. Five years in prison. And then I say, do you know who your son's father is? And you say, yes, I'm still in touch with him. That is a really huge pill to swallow. <laughs> Dylan? Support every month, Mrs. Stanley. No, sir, I'm not allowed to see them. Why should I pay I a man money that he's going to use day. on his girlfriend's I tell you why, because he's raising your children. That's Not why. For long. I don't care. I don't care. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you don't have a financial obligation to the children that you have. You they must have everything Ms. they no, need. They, no, no, With no, no, me. no. No. Mrs. Stanley, if they got them, they're putting food in their stomach, clothes on their back, shoes on their feet, roof over their head, electricity for heat, and you, just like he would if you have an obligation to pay for part of that. Now, if you got a problem with seeing them, you title right on down at a court and get court-ordered visitation. Move forward. In fact, I even told her. No. And you know how you can help her, Mr. As you have some sort of proof that shows that he has income from that, 
And unless he tells me otherwise, I can't really go off of that. I can only go off of what he told me. And he said 90000 on the high end. I think you're in pretty good shape. What do you do for a living? I don't work. I take care of her kid. So you're a stay-at-home mom? Mm-hmm. And she's 11? He is. He is yeah. 11? Uh -huh. He goes to school? He does. So what do you do during the day? Nothing. You don't want to work? No. No. So you're just living off of his child support? I am. And we live with our mother. And you're proud of that? Well, well we were living with him, and I was a stay-at-home mom. He made the income. Okay. But, I mean... But you can work now, right? I can, but... So, it's no but, but you can go get a job, right? I could, but I'm not going to. My rent's free. My food is free. I mean, my mom's the homeowner. We don't have to pay nothing. Okay. You know, I'm not going to go there with you today because you can... Obviously, you're able to work. I'm able, but I don't want to. And you should work, but again, that has nothing to do with me today. What we're going to do is talk about the modification of these numbers, all right? So your income has increased. Uh, it, it's, it's increased about almost $400. So based on you saying that you receive about 90000 on the high end, it yes, brings your gross to about $7,500 which your net is $5,465.22 that would bring, well, health insurance. Who covers health insurance? I do. And how much is that? 110 a month. Okay, 110 So what I'm going to do is give you credit, actually, for the health insurance coverage for the child. So that will slightly bring your child support down. And down? Monthly, yes, slightly. It's still <laughs> expensive, um, $1,093 a month is what he would pay in child support. That's it? That's it. What well, would be more if you get a job? He would pay more if I got a job? No, it would be more for the child if you got a job. Your Honor. Ma'am. No. You don't no, understand. No, you don't understand. I'm basing his child support increase off of what it is that he makes. Nothing he more. He makes more nothing than that. Until you bring me something in here to show me that, that's what I'm going to base it off of. Your Honor. And again... You can work. Can so I, I, su can I, I suggest, say something? No, ma'am. Only thing I need you to say is, Miss Bonda B, I'm going to go find me a job. That's all I want to hear. If it's anything else other than that, I'm not entertaining it. Um, here's the memory we're getting ready to make because I made my ruling. You have capped out, according to Texas guidelines, your gross is $9,200 a month. Child support is set at $2,300. $2, You're going to do a you, reimbursement to Medicaid for $276, making your monthly um, child support payment $2,576. <laughs> that's Thank how you. much you got to pay. No, that's nah. how much you got to pay. <sighs> Thank you, Your Honor. The children live with him. Thank but you, Your Honor. I don't see the celebration. Thank you. Wait a minute. What, what happened to the celebration? Because you're the one that's paying that $2,576. The children live with him. He should not pay you anything. Thank you, Your Honor. And I said I made my ruling, so I really don't have to hear anything further. Did you have any questions about that number? Not at this time, Your Honor. Oh, okay. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Support this channel through membership. You can also support through PayPal link in the description. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.